six packs in a big bag of ice to eat. six packs in a big bag of ice. Some of my previous videos, I showcased the uh, the brass quick disconnects I got from McMaster.com, and uh, they are brass, and they were the uh, like the ball lock system, you know, the the sleeve lock where you had, it was one a one handed operation. But one of the the problems with that is the uh, the inside diameter of these male nipples here is uh, three eighths. So if you're using half inch inside diameter tubing and the march pump and all that stuff. I mean, this is one of those restrictions that, you know, hurts your, your, uh, your flow. So, uh, and they're, and they're brass. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but if you're, you know, if you're into all stainless equipment and things like that, and just to make it nice, then the brass eventually gets pretty nasty unless you shine it up all the time. So the alternative is the, uh, the cam lock system, which, um, Somebody found these. I don't know who exactly found these on, uh, but they were posting on Homebrew Talk that they found these, and uh, they're pretty cool. They uh, they came they came from a, a company called ProFlow Dynamics, and uh, I'll link to it if it wasn't clear. Um, ProFlowDynamics.com, and it comes in a lot of different pieces. You can you can imagine that there's the the male nipple here. The, the male part of the disconnect and then there's the method it connects to either a vessel or a hose and this one is a male uh, half inch male pipe thread which you know makes sense if you have a, a valve on all of your vessels then you would you would thread the male in and have this um, male nipple of the disconnect sticking out okay and just to kind of compare the difference you can see, I mean, that practically fits inside. So the flow is gonna be much better as far as this piece is concerned. Now the other piece is, this is a completely different disconnect system. This is a cam lock system, which you put these ears like this and you slip it on and then you lock them down like that. And uh, these also come in different configurations, hose bar, male pipe thread, female pipe thread, all different, all different configurations. Now, here is the, the female disconnect with a hose barb on it. And this is a half inch hose barb. Unfortunately, look at the inside diameter of that, that barb. That's, that's pretty ridiculous. Um, now you're kind of back to the problem with the uh, the McMaster disconnects. There's like a th it's less than uh, three eighths of an inch. It's almost it's almost as small as a quarter inch, or it's it's in it's in between. Um, here is a regular hose barb. You can even see that that's bigger. It's not much bigger, but it is bigger. And you can see that. You know, here's here's some half inch silicone tubing, and I mean that's really restrictive right there. You know, it slips on like that, and you put your clamp on and everything, and it's easy. But you're not really solving anything other than replacing your brass with uh, stainless. You're not really solving much. Now, you could go and get a hose barb that's five eighths of an inch. All right, this is a five eighths hose barb. And with half inch silicone, it's, it's um, flexible enough to slip over. But the problem is, is that it's very expensive to get a half inch MPT uh, to five eighths hose barb in stainless. Um, I mean, I've seen some of them like $12. So it sort of starts taking the value or the discount out of, uh, out of the ProFlow Dynamic ones. The, there are some al alternatives. The first thing is that if, you're, if you really wanted to try, you can get the, uh, the hose to squeeze onto the threads and you can even thread this on all the way to the end and throw a clamp on it. That's one way of doing it. So that way, that's the diameter you're working with right there. The other thing you can do 
Let's see if I can show you this. I've gotten a regular threaded stainless pipe nipple. All right, but what I did was I used my bench grinder and I, I ground off the threads on one end. Okay, you can see. So this is like 0.83 uh, inches in diameter with the threads. This is actually closer to um, a little less than three quarters of an inch. And again, flexible silicone tubing. If you're a little aggressive with this stuff, you can work it on there. And you can see how you could put a clamp on that fits fits fine. And again, it's a huge inside diameter for the best flow you can get. And the other thing I wanted to do was I, I took a an elbow, half inch MPT elbow. And then I got the the disconnect with the male. So if I thread this together, you kind of get the idea. And that's one of the things I liked about the, uh, the McMaster disconnects is because it did come in an elbow version, but that was even more restrictive because of how the, the fitting was built. But you can see now it's kind of like a nice handle that you can push onto the disconnect. So that's how that goes. I mean, it looks pretty industrial and ridiculous, but um, when you price this out, it's like a dollar or two more than the, uh, the pair of brass ones. One other thing I wanted to mention was these disconnects come with um, I, what looks like Buna N um, gaskets. It might be hard to see with the lighting in here, but the gaskets are down in there. Um, these are pretty thick, and when you put these when you try to lock these um, connects together, you kind of have to pull hard on these uh, on these ears at first. I tried throwing a silicone O-ring in there. You could probably see the red there. And one of the things I noticed was that it's very easy to pull the arms back at that point. It's really easy. So. Um, I haven't run this yet on my system. I want to, I'm curious as to whether or not it's going to be leak free with that O-ring in there, but I would, uh, I feel better with having silicone in there and the fact that it latches a lot easier. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that also. So maybe I'll make a video when I have it all set up on my system and show you them, uh, at that point. But, um, they're very cool for the money. Uh, I know that they've been selling out of some of the pieces because how popular they are in the discussions on homebrew talk and and um, I hope I don't make it even worse by showing you these on my channel here, but uh, I definitely recommend these they're way cheaper than uh, sanitary triclovers um, They might have a little bit of a disadvantage to them, but um, I don't know as far as homebrew level stuff is concerned. These are pretty awesome Every day I